Hello once again everybody, Matt with Copper Owl Coins and I wanted to give you a quick recap of the quarter box hunt that um, I started before Christmas and kind of worked on gradually over my I, uh, my vacation and, and time off which was uh, very much needed. So anyhow, um, we'll get to a few of the highlights. Uh, definitely the best looking and most stunning one um, is going to be this Proof Arkansas Quarter uh, minted in San Francisco. It was uh, pretty cool to find this one. As, as you can see, um, you know, compared to a standard quarter, there's obviously some differences. That, that the black fields around the head and lettering uh, isn't really black. It's just that proof strike that gives you that very mirrored finish. I'll turn it around so you can see the reverse here as well. Um, the uh, irony here is that Arkansas is known for uh, diamonds in their state, and boy, does this one shine like one. Um, I was pretty thrilled when I found that one. So um, not in the best of shape, but uh, still a proof strike and the only one that I found in the entire box. The next one, um, interestingly enough, I went through almost... Uh, $30 worth of uh, quarters that I set aside uh, looking for DDOs, DDRs, and RPMs. But of all of them, oddly enough, a Bicentennial Quarter from 1976, uh, Denver Mint, uh, had the RPM 001 uh, um, uh, repunched mint mark on there. It's kind of hard to see it. I doubt it will focus, but uh, it is a Denver, and when I get it underneath the scope, let's see if maybe it'll give us a little bit of an idea there. So as you can see there, um, you see the, the interior of the D, how it's tilted, and how the uh, lower left serif on the D extends a little bit out past the top serif. Uh, that shows that the uh, mint mark was rotated when it was repunched, and that looks exactly like what the uh, Variety Vista website uh, calls for uh, for that RPM. So I was pretty excited to find that among all of these. Um, in this stack, in these two stacks, have a total of uh, 11. 2009s. Now, all the 2009s uh, were uh, U.S. territories that, uh, when those were uh, issued, um, that's not what makes them special. Uh, all of the uh, coins in 2009 just have a lower mintage, and so carry a little bit more of a premium. Um, just a little little thing I'm doing um, at this time. Probably won't continue this for a long time. Uh, just looking to fill up a tube or two of um, bicentennial quarters. Uh, they they're not worth a ton unless you find something that's in very great condition or has some type of known error on it, and then you can find something that's worth quite a bit. But till I do that, um, I'm just looking to fill up a couple of uh, sleeves of uh, bicentennials to to have um, for the long term. So, like. Once I get those, it won't be something that I do for a long time. So, uh, one of the big, one of the big things we did with this box was um, this book here, the Fifty State um, Quarter Folder, um, it includes the uh, the territorial um, U.S. territories and the District of Columbia. And I got this book for my um, third oldest child as as an effort to have some fun with him uh, with this box and in the future to fill up a coin album. And as you can see, we're off to a fantastic start. Now there's a lot of these that look really, really nice. Uh, let's see if I can pick on one of them here. Um, not sure that I've got, oh, this Illinois one. Check that out. That is, has nice, nice, nice condition on that one. Not bad for one that is uh, currently 17 years old. 
So anyhow, um, that main one is a real nice one too with lots of open fields and that looks really nice. So uh, we'll continue on over to the last two pages of this album. And as you can see, yep, there are a few missing. The one that I'm missing here is a California minted in uh, minted in Philadelphia from 2005. If you have that one out there in great condition, go ahead and feel free to let me know. Send it my way. Uh, otherwise, we'll just continue to hunt it. Uh, this Alaska one is very, very nice. Has a lot of that nice uh, cartwheeling effect if you catch the light just right. Um, as I mentioned, the 2009s that I had set aside here uh, were duplicates of these uh, that we have here. So among those, one, two, three, four, and there is a fifth down here, um, all from Philadelphia that we do not have. So out of what looks to be uh, about 120 or so coins, we are missing six. Uh, now there's plenty of them that are eligible for upgrades uh, for sure. I am checking uh, a lot of these for uh, the different uh, varieties that are out there. That Washington one is really nice as well. A lot of these had really nice. The Utah one was really, really nice. <laughs> so it was pretty, pretty exciting to find those and uh, be able to do a little more with that. So as I was going through, that was the primary objective. I did not have a book for the National Park Quarters. But as it turns out, I went ahead and got one. Uh, from Amazon and decided I will do this for my own personal hunt and see how we're see how well we do here sorry for the photography here guys um, so as you can see I'm not nearly as full on this one it was a little more of a challenge to find those because I only started hunting about halfway through the through the box and I did go back through several of them to see if I could find uh, some real, um, real great examples, but as you can see, um, lots of holes to finish. It looks like I have about 70 out of the 110 that are needed. Now the 2021 is the last year of this series, so it'll be interesting to see what we do after, after 2021. But only the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, which should be a really cool one. Um, is available in 2021 so I, I can't have these two yet um, as for the rest of these um, I'll be writing in what those are um, as as they're released and we'll we'll have a better idea what to look for there but uh, I did I did have a fair amount of um, the Denver mints as you can see I'm missing a couple from the current year but then it got real consistent um, all the way back to 2016 where I'm missing the one and then it picks up again looking at those D's I get uh, everything from 2015 back to 2012 and then it's a little spottier after that uh, so this this first page between 2010 and 2012 will be the ones that I I hope to find a lot of those uh, real soon uh, as well as any of the uh, Philly minted uh, coins that I'm currently missing in other years. So that's kind of it for the quarter box. It was my first uh, full quarter box to hunt. Uh, didn't find any kind of silvers or a whole lot of other varieties, even though we looked real hard. But we'll just have to be happy with uh, anything that is as shiny as these proofs that uh, pop up from time to time. I did check to see if it was a silver proof, and it is not. Unfortunately, that would have driven the value of it up just a little bit more. So, I want to wish everybody uh, a happy new year. It's a few days into the new year, but uh, happy new year to everybody who uh, takes time to watch this. I appreciate anybody who does, and hopefully in the coming year we will have... Um, 
additional finds, a uh, chance to do more videos, maybe even get some live streaming going. We'll just have to see how it goes. I, I do end up spending a little bit of time out of town for work, uh, even with COVID on, on some essential work. So anyhow, we will talk with everybody again real soon. Take care of each other.